On April 8, 1942, Americans on the Philippine island of Luzon surrendered to the Japanese. Along with tens of thousands of American and Filipino troops, Ben Scardin was forced by the enemy to make a barbaric 65-mile trek that later became known as the Bataan Death March. After two years in a POW camp, Scardin was transferred to a hell ship bound for Japan. 1,600 of us from Millibit Prison were marched down to the dock area and they were loading a big liner called the Orioko Maru. You look down, you could see the POWs all against the bulkhead. I noticed that the Japanese guard down there was bare to the waist. That is, cap on, he had a shovel. And as these fellows would step off down there, he'd swing the shovel at them and point somewhere. And I, I figured, I don't want to get hit by that shovel. So when he swung and went around, I scooted straight across. These guys pulled me into that bay that they were all in. And already these guys were breaking down. It was just total chaos. Because hell ships were unmarked, they were subject to Allied attacks, which led to the deaths of thousands of Allied POWs. Scardin survived the sinking of the Orioko Maru and was transferred to a second ship. He and a friend were below deck when they heard approaching aircraft. And all of a sudden you heard the scrambling up on deck and then the any aircraft gun start up. The plane had already come down, dropped the bombs, and one went off and blew all the timbers and things down on where we were, and something just knocked the hell out of me. John uh, Shaw had been hit and I was holding on to him, but he was dead. Uh, and I, I, I just held on to him, and uh, I remember a chaplain coming around and saying, son, you're gonna have to turn him loose. I said, no, sir, no, sir. Uh, I could not believe he was dead. Again, Scardin was forced to abandon ship and found himself on a third hell ship, the Brazil Maru, where he continued to endure horrific conditions. He and his fellow prisoners huddled together for warmth. One night, old uh, Bert reached over and said, Ben, said, old Bill is getting cold. I said, I think he's dead. Well, we didn't make any noise because more able-bodied people, if they found out you got a corpse, they'd come and pull it out and take the stuff. Well, he was dead. And we took his clothes off, him, and we put those on. And he had about a half a canteen of water. Well, we got into that water right away. Actually, I think maybe his death kept us alive. Scardin spent seven months at the Mukden Prisoner of War Camp before finally being liberated in August of 1945. After the war, Scardin joined the faculty of his alma mater, Clemson University, where he taught English for many years.